Hi, I'm Kai and today I want to show you another episode of my series 5 tips and tricks for beginners and advanced users in ePlan. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please have a look on the video description, there I put you the link to my playlist. If you are interested in such content and you want to see more 5 tips and tricks videos, please drop a like so that I can see that you are interested in this topic and I will produce more content for this. So this episode will be about the topic of our parts part creation, how to use parts, and some special settings and values in ePlan. So let us start with the first tip. It can happen that you need some part in your drawings which are not related to any device. For example, maybe some cable entry, or maybe some marking material for your terminals, or some other small stuff or auxiliary material. And in case you want to have this parts in your part list, you need to find a way where you can add these parts when they are not related to a special device in your drawings. And therefore ePlan has two different solutions. The first solution is the so-called part definition point. Therefore we go to the tab insert and here we have this card, the part definition point. When we click on this and place it in our drawing, you can give this part definition point a device tag and under the tab parts you can now select your parts which you need. So maybe you want to add some cable ties or cable clans or whatever. You can add here under this part definition point. So in my case I want to add for example some wires which I need to wire later on my cabinet. I select for example this one and click OK. The advantage is that later on in my part list I have a device tag and can find my part in the part list. So I click apply and OK. But now I have this card in my drawing. Maybe I don't want to have it visible later on on my print version. So therefore we go to view and here to the navigators to the layer management. So I make it a little bit bigger. We go to simple graphic and here we find the part definition point. And when we have a look here on the right side, you can activate if you want to print out this part definition point or not. I have emptied the checkbox and now later on on my print version, nobody can see this card. The other possibility to add parts to your project which are not related to some device is that we open the bill of material navigator and here we make a right click and can add project parts. These parts are also not related to some device in our cabinet and they will not get a device tag. So I just add for example another cable here. And now you can see here that this is a project part. The other one on my part definition point has a device tag. So these are two possibilities to add parts to your project which are not related to some device. In tip 2 I want to show you how you can create a part out of your drawing very quickly. As an example I want to use this MCCB. So I duplicate it. And let's say we modify this part a little bit. So we go to the tab parts and here I add my own part number or the original part number from the part I want to create. In my case, I just make a fake part. So just that everybody sees later on sky test. I can make, for example, here in the technical characteristics, something from 13 to 100 amps also just that you see later on what happened and I changed also here the connection point designation and now I click OK. So this part is not available in my parts database and now I make a right click on it and click generate part. And what now happened is that ePlan creates this part automatically. But you can see when we go to the tab properties, 
set, you need to insert all the other parts which are necessary for your engineering task. So maybe you can delete, for example, the function group new and can sort it in the right product grouping. For example, we can add it to a motor overlay switch. And what you get as an additional information is function templates. You can see that ePlan automatically added the connection point designation and the technical characteristics. This is a way how you can save a lot of time when you add a new part to your parts database. Now I delete this MCCP and I hope that when you want to insert some part to your project that you don't start with the symbol and later on when you have selected the symbol, for example our MCCP, the part after this. The right way to do this in ePlan is that you have insert your part to your parts database and then you go to the insert center and search for the device. So in our case we have the device Kai done in the previous tip and now you can place it on your drawing directly. You have the right symbol, the right technical data and the right part in one go. So this is the normal way you should go with your devices. So, and in case you want to select your part during your engineering, you go on the tab part and on the more button and you select it from your database. And maybe you see now on the tab properties that something is missing. For example, here in the tab overview, you see that we have no ERP number. Maybe you need this or the type number or the part designation one. And now, you cannot add it here because this is blocked now. But there is a way to make it possible that you change your part during your selection. So we close this and go back to our settings. And here under user management and parts, you will find the property modification allowed during selection. And when we activate this, click apply and OK. And now we want to make a part selection. We can directly add, for example, here the type number and all the other informations. That's way faster when, than when you always need to close this window, go to your parts management and change it there. Now we can apply and OK and have this part updated. And on my last tip in this episode, I want to show you how you can suppress parts in your part list. For example, we have now here the part definition point, but maybe you don't want to have this in your report later on. And therefore, we make a double click on our part definition point, go to the tab part, and here we have the possibility to add columns. So we make a right click and go on configure representation. And here we can add for example, some other properties which we need. So first of all, we want to copy this scheme. And then we go here on the plus on new and add, for example, the setting for suppress and build of materials if filtered. So when we save this and click OK, we get here a new column and can select this. And now you have seen that there is an additional information behind, which is called if filtered. So that means there is another action required. So we have set this checkbox. That means it's already filtered here. But to suppress this in our report, we need 
to add there an, another value. We go to uh, Tools and Generate. And here we go to the tab Templates and add, for example, a new part list. Click OK. And now we have the possibility to filter here. We click on More. Make a new scheme. Give a name and a description. And we add here the criteria, what we need. And select here suppress and bill of material if filtered. So, and now we don't activate the checkbox here because what we want to have later on in our part list is just the parts which have not activated this checkbox. So this is when you want to have everything excluding the parts where you have activated the checkbox or if you maybe want just these parts which are activated, you need to make another scheme and activate this. So we click on save. I don't select something here. I have now here a filtered parts template and can generate this. And then it will be generated a part list without our part definition port. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.